Now, this is a typical question that you can get on finding the equation of a tangent to a rectangular hyperbola. In this example, we've got the point P that has these parametric coordinates 6t and 6 divided by t, where t is not equal to 0. And it lies on the rectangular hyperbola H with equation xy equals 36. And we've got to show that an equation for the tangent to h at p is given by y equals minus 1 over t squared times x plus 12 over t. Now if I'm doing any question on coordinate geometry, generally what I would encourage you to do is to sketch a diagram of the curve. And in this case we've got xy equals 36, in other words y equals 36 divided by x. And rectangular hyperbolas like this have this kind of shape, which we should be familiar with. So this is our curve then, h. And we could say that its equation, if we rearranged it for y, h is such that y equals 36 divided by x. And we've got this general point p, 6t, 6 over t. So it could be anywhere on this curve, dependent on the value of t. Well, let's just suppose we place it somewhere here, something like this. So we've got the tangent to the point p. Now, if we've got to find the equation of this tangent, being a straight line, in the usual way, what I'd want to think of this as, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And we've got our x1 coordinate and a y1 coordinate. x1 is going to be 6t and y1 is going to be 6 over t. We just need to get the gradient m. And we can do that by just differentiating the equation of the curve with respect to x. So if we do that, let's start uh, at that point, OK? We've got that y equals 36 over x. So to change this, get it ready for differentiating, we can think of this as 36 multiplied by x to the power minus 1. So when it comes to differentiating with respect to x, we therefore have dy dx equals minus 36 x to the power minus 2. And we can rewrite x to the power minus 2 as 1 over x squared, times it with a minus 36, and you end up with minus 36 over x squared. And now we want to find the gradient at this point p where x is 6t. So we can say that when x equals 6t, we've got that therefore dy by dx equals minus 36 all over x squared, in other words, 6t all squared. That's going to be 36t squared, if we were to square that. And you can see that this reduces down to minus 1 over t squared. So therefore, dy by dx equals minus 1 over t squared. Now this is a standard result, actually, for finding the gradient at any point on a curve when that curve is a rectangular hyperbola. Always it's equal to minus 1 over t squared. So if you knew that result, you wouldn't have had to plough your way through this. So now that we have this gradient, we're now in a position to find the equation of that tangent at p. So let's just put, therefore, the equation of the tangent at p. OK, just as a subtitle, so we'll just write that in, tangent at p. And what is it going to be? Well, it's going to be y minus y1. y1 then is 6 over t equals the gradient m, which we've seen now is minus 1 over t squared. And that's multiplied by x minus x1. And x1 is the x-coordinate at p, 6t. Now looking at the kind of answer that we've got to have here, I can see we've got minus 1 over t squared x, and I can get that by expanding the bracket here. So what I'm going to do is expand the bracket, 
and I'm going to add 6 over t to both sides. So it's going to leave me with y equals 6 over t. And then if I expand this bracket, we get minus 1 over t squared x, and then plus another 6 over t, because we've got 6t over t squared. The t's cancel, and just leaves me with the plus 6 over t. So when I tidy this up, I've got this term here, minus 1 over t squared x, and then 6 over t plus another 6 over t, well that's going to be 12 over t. And that's what we had to show. Okay, so I hope it's given you an idea then on how we can go about finding the tangent then to a rectangular hyperbola.